So, um, I'm Philip Huffman. I'm the co-founder of Helpling, which is uh, the leading online marketplace for household services in Europe. Um, we help customers to conveniently find vetted, insured and legal cleaners yeah, within 60 seconds. On the other hand, the second part of the marketplace is we help cleaners to build a sustainable customer base and later on manage that customer base efficiently via the use of our platform, thereby enabling them to focus on what they're really good at, which is making the customers happy, cleaning the home. Over the last one and a half years, we've helped hundreds of thousands of customers um, finding that perfect match, this perfect cleaner for them. And on the other hand, we, um, we enabled over 10,000 cleaners to, to build a sustainable business for themselves. Um, since Marco asked us to talk about competition, I'm not going to talk a lot about us, but mostly on competition, and I would like to go back a year and a half when we, when we founded our company. It was quite a fierce competition or competitive environment during that time. We had two incumbents. We had uh, two American players, Homejoy and Handy. Handy just raised another 50 million a couple of weeks ago. And um, those guys were established in the market already for a couple of years. I think they were over three years old already and um, had raised more than 30 million in, uh, in funds. And at the same time, we had lots of younger companies coming up from Brazil to Singapore, lots of different players. So um, with our goal of um, basically achieving market leadership outside of the US and China, quite quickly we had to go for a very aggressive market entry strategy. So by choosing this very aggressive market entry strategy, um, we had a profound impact on the competitive situation. And within only 12 months, we had rolled out our company to 14 different countries. We had raised uh, over 60 million US dollars in venture capital and acquired five of our fiercest competitors. Yeah. In Europe, where we currently dominate the market from the UK to Italy, and uh, in each one of those markets offer a national product to our customers, um, we've built a, a great brand, which uh, is a different one in, in the UK. You probably know it, Hassel. Um, if you do have a cleaner, I hope that uh, you get it via us. And um, to show what kind of a brand image we've already achieved, and um, this is our home market, Germany, the first market that we've been in. Oh, there it is. Um, you can see the, the search volume for different terms. So there's a search volume for our brand name versus the search volume for what we actually offer. So more people are looking for us than um, what we're currently offering. While um, the last year and a half has been great for us, um, unfortunately, one of our competitors, um, Homejoy, has not been doing so great, and they went back um, a couple of months ago. You probably heard about it. It created a lot of controversy, and, and many journalists wrote articles about, um, is the on-demand economy working? Are there problems? And so on and so forth. So um, don't take my word for it. I just prepared. There were lots of articles written about this. And, um, I just prepared a couple of quotes on why did Homejoy fail, yeah? and um, I'm just going to walk you through three of those because uh, we do have limited time, and um, those three are quite important ones. They never got the value proposition to the customer right. Yeah? Um, this basically led to them not having any kind of retention either on the customer side nor on the cleaner side, and thereby not a working marketplace. We at Helpling, um, we focus very much in, um, on that and we understand that cleaning is not a commodity kind of service. Yeah? It is impossible to always bring exactly the same kind of quality like McDonald's everywhere around the world. Yeah? What we understand is that it's more like a matchmaking. You need to make sure that the customer finds the right cleaner for him. And thereby you create long-lasting relationships that lead to great customer and cleaner retention. Yeah? Um, we have over 50% after six months, which is, shows that we can create those uh, relationships that last. On the customer acquisition side, um, they basically went for the easy way. Instead of building up uh, all those different marketing channels, um, they just went with Groupon and, um, and other similar kind of deal websites, basically attracting the bargain hunter type of customer, uh, which unfortunately you pay a lot of money for and you get very little money in return because they churn out right after they use that coupon. 
We do not incentivize um, in that way because we don't want one-off customers. We want people who do have a real need, a pain, that have an ongoing need for that cleaner, and that's why all of our marketing is purely focused on that. Since the founders were pure tech guys, they only focused on tech and thought that tech can solve any kind of problem and thereby completely forgot that operations is a very, very important part of our business. We do see tech as, the, or as part of the two most important parts. You need a great product, but on the other hand, you also need great operations, excellent operations to make a profitable, a very profitable business out of that. Yeah. Short and short, they had very high customer acquisition costs and on the other hand, did not make a lot of money because people churned out. Um, so low customer lifetime values, which led to them not being um, a sustainable business. We love the market that we are in. And why do we love it? Because there is a super strong value proposition for both sides of the marketplace. And I bet almost everybody who's sitting here does have a cleaner at home. Yeah. At the same time, the people that we are serving are very, very high value customers. If I give you an example of one of our weekly or the average weekly customer that we do have spends over 2,000 euros per year on our platform. Yeah. If you do have the necessary automation within your product and have excellency in operations, you will achieve up to 15 euros uh, of profit contribution per job, which is uh, very high and very good. Um, and at the same time, if you look at how is the market going to evolve over the next years, you see lots of macro trends. I mean, more and more people, also you here in the audience, will start and continue on using more services online. And we do have the access to the households of our customers. Our cleaner owns the key, he walks in, and this puts us in the perfect position of offering any kind of other service to those households. It's a $400 billion opportunity, and uh, we're very happy to be in that market. Thanks a lot.